We're in a period of deep digital transformation. Digital technologies are rewiring the way we engage with the world around us. How we live, work, play, understand the world and each other. And the digital technologies that we make are changing the world. So we're changing the way we do science. Reinvent Science is something that is getting to the heart of how you do science. So over the last 20 years, there's been an increasing focus on making sure that science is applied. It's great to be an applied scientist and work on dedicated questions that are delivering an answer that people need or delivering an applied outcome. But sometimes that can lose the capacity to make those really big leaps that take science forward or take the technology forward. And reInvent Science is opening the door to be able to be involved in some of that, to really take something that was an idea inspired by science fiction and make it science fact. So really be able to push the future forward. With reInvent Science, we're looking at reimagining agriculture and we're asking the tough questions like how might we redesign an agricultural system if we had all these robots that could do more of the work for us, if we had sensors that could detect in advance emerging problems, if we knew we could grow plants synergistically, so maybe grow a legume next to a cereal to supply nitrogen. My involvement with reInvent Science um, has been very good. I've contributed with a concept that would be a, like a fully automated farm, that I can envision that possibility, uh, but there's lots of things that needs to happen in, in the process. And one of those things is actually combining all these disparate data sets, you know, making that data fusion, if you like, of all these different data. At the CSIRO, we're harnessing and developing cutting-edge digital technologies to supercharge our research. We're working across the organisation to solve the data-driven challenges of today and create a better tomorrow. We, we are really at the, the start of challenging some of the fundamental paradigms of basically the last 50 to 100 years of agriculture. That means different components coming together. So yes, we want automation and robots, Yes, we want satellite technology. Yes, we want crop modelling. Yes, we want the domain science coming through. The one commonality between them all is that they all need to talk to each other. So that is this technology that combines different disciplines to help make decisions for the industry as a whole. And that's what this program is all about. The world's changing in ways that we've never experienced. So the history of the world is no longer a great guide to what the future is going to do. So we need to be faster and faster in seeing how that change happens so we can be much more on top of responding to it. Most of what people see about the oceans is the ocean surface and they assume it's all fine underneath. They don't have the capacity really to get in and under and experience it. But humans are a species that learns by doing. We don't learn by seeing a blanket set of statistics. So by using something like the Ocean Explorer, you can really explore the ocean, regardless of who you are. Software engineers, designers, roboticists, and AI experts are collaborating with scientists from across our National Science Agency. From land to sea, we're working to bring data to life in new innovative ways and reinvent methodologies to push the boundaries of science to help us solve our greatest challenges. We're transforming the National Science Agency so we can continue to transform the world. Yeah.